Alright, how's it going? And welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we are indeed going to be talking about YouTube's worst nightmare, who just got worse. Tati finally responds to her lawsuit against Without a Crystal Ball, and it's shocking. Yes! 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 As if 2020 couldn't get any better. <laughs> Worth it indeed, ladies and gentlemen, but today we will indeed be revisiting the middle-aged bully of YouTube. Someone who believes they are above the law, a woman who stalks others, lies constantly, and has an ego of the size of my left nut. Which, uh, on the contrary, uh, does have quite a lot of mass. Um, yeah. My balls are huge. I'm not a man of ego, I just genuinely believe that I am the best and you're not. Hey, listen dudes, don't feel bad about it. If you're a flying piece of shit, you can't help that. That's how you were created. With that said, I want you to try and be the best piece of flying shit anyone has ever seen. I'm kidding, you are the best and I need you. But what do I have to offer to you wonderful, amazing people in this video? Well, let me tell you everyone. In this video, we will indeed be taking a look at Without a Crystal Ball's recent events. Taking a look at Tati and her lawyer's response. One of Katie Joy's favorite fans who threatens people with death if they harass her. However, getting straight into the video, Katie Joy loves to play games. And it so has it that I also love to play games, <laughs> especially sex games. I often like to play long, intense, sweaty games of search and destroy. And I don't mean the Call of Duty game mode either. This just in, ladies and gentlemen, Katie Joy just broke the news world when she said this. It's no different than calling people that live in Britain English. Like, it's literally no different. That has to be one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. It's the same like British people, you know, they're English. Do I look fucking English to you, you fucking prick? Your ignorance, Katie, to other people's gender. What? Your ignorance, Katie, to other people around the world simply makes me sick. We Welsh people exist, alright? And back in the day, who the fuck do you think was taking care of your fucking sheep, huh? That's right, I'd be in the back garden fucking shagging, I'm in it. No, I didn't. I didn't. But I am currently wondering, ladies and gentlemen, what Tati and her lawyer responded to Katie Joy. Now, this is where it does, in fact, get a bit deep. Katie Joy decided to dig into Tati's family's background, looking through old personal records, contacting neighbours, even researching her own father. Uh, I was doing research, you guys. Research, I tell you. Remember how I told you I was going to try to do something where I exposed Tati Westbrook? And I was like, looking, and I've been doing this for two days straight now. Two days. Thinking I would find something. When I started digging into her background, and I have looked all over the place, you guys. Everywhere. I started playing around even more, and digging through more and more information. Going through marriage records, and through, um... Birth certificate. I couldn't even find her birth certificate, which is weird. There's like zero records of her father. Now, Katie did indeed go on the internet and act so proud as if she'd done something massive, when all she did was indeed look into Tati's private family, who are not public figures, and release their information to the public eye. Now, releasing private information on people who are indeed not public figures is a very, very bad thing to do. She apparently dug into Tati's father and claimed that he was either a part of the mafia or he's just dead. He's just dead, apparently. I, I, it's not for me to talk about. It's not my information. This is private information. But uh, Katie ignored that anyway because she's full of ignorance and uh, she is a cow. I didn't mean that. I'm so, so sorry. Katie was in fact a moderator of a Christian website and she used that website to post negative things about Tati and James just because she said she didn't like them. This woman will claim that she is the victim in the situation, claim that she is being bullied by the entire internet. When Katie, you just can't hold yourself responsible in this situation. Instead, my friends, Katie will keep pushing deeper and deeper until she gets herself into more trouble. And indeed she has. She dug into Tati's husband's criminal record to find out that he had a drug charge when he was a teenager. And she pushed this narrative forward as if he was some sort of drug lord. All the bloke done was uh, smoke a bit of weed when he was a teenager. And uh, she made him seem like as if he'd broken some massive crime. The bloke's like in his 40s now. I think you can like kind of lay off. Like Katie, you called a sexual abuse victim a brat. What the fuck's your point? Hmm? 
Out with the old and in with the new. Is this too much because I look like the human torch right now? <laughs> However, ladies and gentlemen, the slandering did not stop there. She took it a step further that when she told the whole internet when James Westbrook's mother was dying, that he made her sign all of her inheritance over to him, meanwhile cutting his siblings out of it. Claimed that he made her sign papers when she was on her deathbed and not capable of thinking for herself. Claimed that James Westbrook was indeed guilty of fraud. However, this was indeed deemed to be wrong. You see, there are indeed documents which say all of the inheritance that James received was indeed signed years before his mother had died. Katie Joy just took it in her own hands to try and push this narrative forward, meanwhile getting herself in deep, deep shit. Now that is the backstory. I've already uploaded two videos on the situation. <gasps> I know you're gonna say, I know you're gonna say, I'm milking the cow's teeth again. Now, before we look at the response, I have one thing to show you, but I also want to say one thing as well. So if you could please just sit one second and wait, that would be very nice. So I'd like to say, uh, please hit the like button and comment to boost me in the algorithm. And if you are new to the channel, it would help me dearly if you could subscribe. That would be amazing. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers. I'm not even at 100,000 yet, so I really need your help. And not only do I appreciate new people on the channel, but I also appreciate the people who have been subscribed for a very long time or maybe only a few months, and if you are one of those people, I love you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You are my world, and I love you. I do put a lot of work into my videos, and uh, you guys are really taking me places, and I would love to be sitting here sometime in the future and have a million subscribers. Uh, only you guys can make that happen, and if you think I'm good enough, then subscribe. Thank you. I'm, I'm a bit cringe. Okay, cringe over. Now it's time for a deep, deep dive right inside your mother. <laughs> Lawsuit. Tati Westbrook lawsuit. That's what we're doing now. Yeah, right. So on the 28th of December, Tati's lawyer tweeted this. Just was informed that KJ and her husband stated in a live video tonight that it is wrong to report on the contents of public records without contacting the other side to verify the accuracy of public records. If this is true, please let us know if anyone has the video clip. So the stream they're talking about is the one that they've done on the 28th, uh, her and her husband, Katie and her husband. However, uh, they live streamed um, on separate computers but they lived together. They were just in different rooms. Why the fuck would anyone do that? A very well researched video would 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 entail if you're trying to push some sort of narrative about somebody, if you did your research, you would reach out to said somebody right. and ask them to comment on whatever it is you are trying to purport. Right. About so this, somebody. Is, this is always something that I, I struggle with. Is we have access to people on this platform, so when we report on them, theoretically, we can actually reach out to them and get a comment from them for their perspective. Now, whether or not that person responds or replies is up to that person, but it's Absolutely. Still However, this statement is hilariously, hilariously hypocritical, and let me tell you why. Katie Joy never reached out to Tati or her husband when she reported uh, about the thing that she'd found out. You know, those uh, days and days of research that she uh, accumulated together? Yeah, she never, she never asked no one. She just put it out there without asking. She never tried to verify the accuracy. Oh, it's so sweet and lovely how Katie Joy is just so deluded. Mwah. I mean, literal goosebumps. I am receiving so much chills right now. My anus is even twitching. Probably too much information. Let's move on. It is wrong to report on the records when you haven't verified them with the actual person. Yeah. I am so fucking stupid. <sighs> when when people um they think they they come up with some sort of narrative that they think is you know what they think it is, <laughs> and they and they they just they, they do a hack job in terms of um their their research, then they just run with it and they, yeah. and they go and post some crap on social yeah. media. When they make a narrative up, they just run with it. All right, Mister Big Cock. That's uh, not right. <laughs> While you say all this, uh, there is no made-up narrative. You literally just made up a narrative yourself. You are narrating about other people falsely narrating a story, but you, Mr. Big Cock, just done it yourself. <laughs> Fucking fantastic, I love you. Now, is this narrative right, ladies and gentlemen? Tell me. 
I believe that Katie Joy loves to dig into information and release false information into the public. She loves to step over the line. She loves to believe that her opinion is facts without even confirming it with the other party. Now let's just see if my judgement on a middle-aged Karen is correct. Last year I reported that Tati Westbrook's husband, James Westbrook, had a history of questionable behaviour in relation to an alleged fraud. A video I made on his court cases infuriated him to the point they sent someone in my inbox to threaten me. Let's just say... I wasn't wrong. The full court records show he took his mother off oxygen. He had her sign away the property, a property she never intended to him to have. And then he also got his mom to sign off all mortgages totaling over 900,000. While she was not mentally capable to do those choices. P.S. I was biased about Tati because I've done months and months of research on her story and her husband is a damn fraud. You shouldn't want frauds in the community. My opinion. Yes. Made up narrative. That's exactly what I'm doing. You know everyone? Opinions are facts right now. That's this is the world we live in. I have 10 million dollars in my bank account and I have bitches left, right, and center. That's real. Like it is. Everyone go on Twitter, follow me, and go on Instagram and tag me in stories saying that I am the biggest chad that has ever existed. Although it may not be true. It's my opinion, and it's a fact, okay? But I'm actually pretty stressed right now. Um, I'm sweating in places I never thought I could sweat. Let's go somewhere more comfortable. Why not? Hello, everyone. Welcome to my comfort zone. Hope you get comfortable. Hope you don't feel awkward at all. I'm kidding, everyone. Uh, I have a girlfriend, um, just for you to know. I am a straight man. Okay, so everyone, I've got my laptop right here. Um, I don't know why I'm laying down. I just like to really, um, you know, mix up the video sometimes. You know, I've done this once before in my Lily Jean video, and now we're doing it sitting here, so I'm excited. So this one I'm looking at right here right now is the declaration page. This is pretty much summarizing, I'm pretty sure. Defendants in this case have published approximately 80 plus videos concerning me, my husband, and my business, Halo Beauty. A person I know to be blank states, Starting at approximately six minutes into the video, that defendant started digging into my family's background and looking all over the place. Everywhere. Everywhere. Defendants go on to state at approximately nine minutes into the video, they use several different searches because a site called Truthfinder is a very basic background check and doesn't have everything. My husband had downloaded a true, correct copy of this video from defendants without a Crystal Ball YouTube channel. So basically, everyone, uh, it's a um, it is a declaration on what Tati isn't happy with, and she's pointing out one of the videos that Crystal Ball had uploaded. Now, in that video, Katie Joy uses a site called Truthfinder. Now, there are more to this. Uh, in another video entitled The Past James and Tati Westbrook Don't Want You To Know. Approximately three minutes into the video, a person I know to be blah 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 begins discussing defendant's investigation into me and my husband. Starting at approximately 13 minutes into the video, defendant talks about the research they have done into my childhood and family in Washington. Defendant discuss my sisters and my mother, all of whom are private citizens. They also discuss my personal history in Washington. Starting at approximately 55 minutes into the video, defendant also states that they have documentation for all the information in the video, including court records from Washington State that they found through three weeks of non-stop research to find all of this information. At approximately 56 minutes into the video, defendants thank their viewers for sticking with them in their two-part expose and if they uncover more information, they will deliver it. My husband had downloaded a true correct copy of this video from defendants without a Crystal Ball YouTube channel and have placed it in a Dropbox folder in the court's convenience and said video may be viewed at blah 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 blah. Now as I said before, Katie Joy, she dug into her family's history and as you can see, Ty's not happy about it. It probably pissed me off too, I can't lie. Why are we all stalking into family people like, you know, she's claiming to be one of the best researchers. More like one of the best fuck-ups. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sweating right now. Holy shit, this was a bad idea. <laughs> now, Kate, you even said that the videos over the course of 19 months somehow is not directed at Tati and James. You've got them in the thumbnail. What the fuck are you talking about? They are directed against James and Tati, 
They 100% are. I think we all know that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you might be asking, what could be next? Well, here for you, ladies and gentlemen, I have a segment I like to call, How Psycho Are You? The game show is in alpha stages and has yet to be fully developed. Katie Joy has a fan who constantly defends her called Lorianne. Shitface with two first names. It's never really a good sign, is it? Now, there's not much context behind this, but Lorianne claims to be being harassed, apparently by lots of people who dislike without a crystal ball. And I say harassed, okay? Remember this word, harassed. Now, Katie has stated once before that this is apparently one of her number one fans, okay? And this is what Laurie-Anne said on Twitter when she was replying to someone. I have Facebook friends that are also on my Twitter friends who can verify who I am and who my family is. So if Steve McRae thinks he can continue harassing me, then my family will protect me and they are all over the US. Meanwhile, she posts two pictures of the Guardian Angels MC Brotherhood, Sisterhood, and another Brotherhood who are biker gangs. Basically, they're saying that if you just continue to harass her, uh, she's gonna send a biker gang on you and probably kill you. Uh, chop you up, probably, and feed you to the fucking dogs. Yeah, imagine me being harassed and then threatening someone with a biker gang. Not directly saying it, but insinuating it by posting pictures of biker gang logos. Fucking hell. Here's the information of the biker gang on screen right now. This is the Guardian Angel Sisterhood. And uh, that's what she's using to threaten people. If I was that biker gang, I'd probably be fucking pissed off right now. Imagine being portrayed as uh, a threat to people. Like, you know, we've got the Curtis Price channel. Imagine someone saying, If you do something wrong, if you were asked me anymore, I'm gonna send the Curtis Price channel on you. You know what my replies to that? I don't have one. Here's another tweet. Uh, Please share if you are inclined to do so. I myself, along with several others, have been targeted by these people for defending Katie. I've made it clear that if they continue to harass me, there will be consequences one way or another. So apparently she's being harassed, everyone. Remember that word? Harassed? Well, this is what's happening. This is how she's being harassed. If you don't like a content creator, don't watch them. Check out Katie Joy and without a crystal ball and judge for yourself. This is why victims remain silent and don't report harassment, all with the hopes of taking Katie's channel down. So what it seems to look like, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, she's arguing with people about Katie Joy's channel. Harassment. Do you want to comment on this video and say you hate my channel? You fucking harassment, you prick. Don't call it harassment, right? It's not harassment. It really isn't. All she's doing is arguing with someone about Katie's Joyce channel, whether it's good or not. <laughs> For the contrary, it's shit. My fiercest and loyalist next to at Blood Toll, which is the woman with two first names, the one that's tweeting about shit, and Real Housewife, whoever the fuck that is. You're calling this person your fiercest and loyalist person, apparently, on the channel. Are you telling me that you condone people threatening other people with biker gangs? Are you telling me that you condone this kind of action? Well, Katie, if that's the case, I might just have to end you once and for all myself. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.